Today we are going to disassemble a water inlet valve to clean out the inlet screen and then put it back together. You're going to need a Phillips number two screwdriver for this, as well as a little pair of needle nose pliers to pull out the screen. Once you have your water inlet valve removed from the machine, you're going to take off these four screws holding the inlet side of the valve together. Now I have all the screws out. We're going to take off this end cap. Always make a mental note of which way this needs to be reassembled so that it fits back in your machine properly. Take off the bracket. Next thing you're gonna do, sometimes these are a little bit tight, but you're gonna separate this end cap from the body. Now that I have the end cap removed, you can see the inlet strainer here on this one. This one's not too dirty. Sometimes I've seen them in the past where it's built all the way up with sand or some sort of contaminants in your water. You can use your needle nose pliers to lightly grab and pull out on this strainer. Next, you can take this strainer to the sink, give it a good cleaning, and then put it back together. The reassembly of this valve is usually what we get the calls about. For some reason, guys want to put it in like this. That's the wrong way. I always describe it as hold it with the hole going down and then put the cap in there so it's kind of like a top hat. Now you have it reassembled the proper way. Go ahead and set this piece on here. And then remember, reinstall your bracket in the proper orientation of how it came out. In our case, our bracket is going to go along the back side like this. Line up the four holes for the screws. I like to get the four screws started a little bit so that I'm sure that they're all aligned properly before I've given the final torque. So now that we have it fully reassembled, we're ready to put it back into the machine, reconnect power, reconnect water, power it on and monitor it. Make sure you're filling better than what you were. In tech support, when we have checked and we have good voltage at the coil, we know we have good water pressure at the machine, but we're just still not getting that proper flow. This is kind of like a last resort. We like to check this water inlet valve strainer screen in order to make sure we don't have an obstruction at the valve. If this doesn't help and you've confirmed again that you have good voltage at the coil and good water pressure coming into the machine, but you're still not getting any flow out of the valve, you're gonna to need to replace the valve assembly.